Dear students, now we are going to study the types of equation in economics. The first one that we shall study in this lecture is the definitional equations. Actually, these are the reflection of a definition in the form of, a, of an equation. If, I, if I'm to define some economic phenomenon, I can use an equation to define it. If I do so, I will be making a definitional equation. And for that, we use an identity. Now, these identities, as we know, they, they, they confirm that the left-hand side will always be equal to right-hand side because the definition it holds in all the cases, that is why we can say an identity instead of an equality can well represent a definitional equation. Here you can see that um, an economic example is considered and it is a very well-known identity in economics that is the identity of profit and we know that the profit is equal to the difference of revenue and cost and when we read it we have to read it in a in a certain way and the way is that revenue is identically equal to the difference of revenue and cost so you see we are not saying equal to we are saying identically equal to now um, what we do in 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 our uh, routine analysis of uh, in economics of uh, profit function we usually don't write the three lines rather we write the two lines that is the usual equality it does not mean that we should not know that this is an identity it is just for the sake of ease because equality is used most of the times in our mathematical analysis so uh, even if we use equal sign instead of the identity sign it does not mean that it is not an identity it is actually an identity but for, for the sake of simplicity we use the sign of equality in it uh, here it is highlighted that revenue is equal to the product of the price and the output now uh, we delve deeper into it and see that how uh, the various possibilities can be considered as you can see the uh, definition will hold strong but the outcomes they can be of three types either the difference of revenue and cost is equal to zero or it can be greater than zero or it can be less than zero uh, greater than zero possibility is desired outcome by the producer he would wish that the revenues are greater than the costs and the less than uh, possibility is definitely undesired and and that shows uh, loss instead of profit uh, the third possibility is of the equality of the revenues and the cost. And that is very well known as uh, the break-even point where the revenues are equal to cost, that is the uh, costs are actually recovered and we haven't earned anything or we haven't lost anything. So no matter what the outcome is, uh, it, remains, I, I, it's, it remains an identity regardless of the numerical outcome of it. Now let's take another example from macroeconomics and that is a very famous example which is known as national income accounting identity. It is explained here that Y is identically equal to the sum of the expenditures by consumers, investors, government and the net exports. So you see that uh, we have tried to read the identity as it deserves to be read. Uh, we, we should not use equal, we, we should use identically equal. However, you know, in our usual analysis, we uh, overlook this um, condition and we use uh, equality instead of identically equal. However, it is an identity and it is showing the definition of national income when we look at it from the lens of uh, in expenditure approach.